Welcome back to Crypto Eddie. In this video, guys, I want to give you an update on the merge of Fetch AI Singularity Net or AGIX and Ocean Protocol, because it seems that the token that was Fetch, which still is Fetch, is now being listed as the, art the Artificial Super Intelligence Alliance token on CoinGecko. And I'm just wondering whether or not the market cap that we're seeing now is the true market cap or not. So we need to do a little bit of a dig into this merge to see whether or not we are seeing on CoinGecko and Coin Market Cap whether that is actually accurate information. Okay, so if that sounds good to you, just give me a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, ping the bell for all notifications so you know when I'm uploading new videos. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the CoinGecko page for top artificial intelligence AI tokens by market cap so that we can see exactly you know where this new merged token sits in terms of market caps in relation to other projects. So here we are on CoinGecko. As you can see, it says here, top artificial intelligence AI coins by market cap. If I come down, you can see that near protocol and internet computer, okay, these are the best performing projects at the moment. Now, NIA was actually originally an AI project, and now they're emphasizing AI a little bit more in their marketing because obviously AI narrative will be very strong. And Internet Computer is the only layer one where you can do AI fully on chain. Okay, so Internet Computer's got something that is unique and no other project has what Internet Computer has, but it doesn't seem to be getting the same market cap adoption of bigger layer ones that are upcoming, like Solana. So Solana has got a huge market cap now, but Internet Computer is lagging behind by quite a stretch of just 3 billion at the moment. But we can see here in third place, we've got Artificial Superintelligence Token Fetch. Now, does this actually include the Singularity Net and also the Ocean Protocol cap, uh, market caps? I would say that it doesn't, okay? Now, let me just show you the ranking of these tokens and you'll see the significance of this. So if you were holding the Fetch token, you would have a market cap of 3 billion, okay? Um, and it was ranked 32 on CoinGecko. Compared to now, we're looking at a 386 million market cap for Singularity Net ranked at 159 on coin on, on coin gecko and if we come down a bit further we can see here that we've then got ocean protocol at 227 ranked ranked 227 okay and the market cap now is about 230 million okay so let's go to each of those tokens okay separately and have a look at them uh, before we do that, we'll just have a look at Render here. You can see that Render is just behind the ASI token or the Fetch token because everything hasn't actually merged yet. And the Render token is actually 2.6 billion. So it's lower than the ASI token, but will the Render token be able to keep up with the market cap growth of the ASI token? I'm not sure because of the extra people in terms of the personnel involved who will be helping to make the ASI token stronger because you're going to get three teams from those three projects actually joining together. And, you know, when they merge all their resources and, you know, all their ideas and their, their technology together, I think you're going to see the ASI token blast off. But what we need to know is what is the correct market cap for the ASI token at the moment. Now, if we go to ASI token, now this is not actually the ASI token yet. It is, but it isn't. Basically what they're doing is they're calling the fetch token the ASI token. So yeah, everything will merge into this particular token. But at the moment, it's really just the conversion of the fetch token and some of the ocean and the singularity net tokens. Not everything has actually merged just yet. So. As you can see here, if I put it on the maximum, um, 
Fetch actually got up to a market cap of just over six billion. Looks like nearly six and a half billion there. And now it's down at three. Originally, they said that the um, ASI token would actually launch at about seven billion. But that was when Fetch was about 5.5 .5 billion. Obviously, there's been a big pullback of the market and things have changed. And this could be a great opportunity for you to get in on the ASI token. Okay, so if this sounds good to you guys, again, give me a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, ping the notification bell, otherwise there's no point subscribing. <laughs> okay, so you can see ASI token, which is, which is now actually still the fetch token, okay, is currently 3 billion market cap. Looks like a really good buy now, because I think the ASI token, okay, behind um, the near protocol and the internet computer token, then I think this could do as well as either of those projects, okay, in terms of X multiplier potential. So yeah, near protocol probably can do something like a 10 to a 20 X and the same with ICP, okay. But what about the ASI token? So from 3 billion to 30 billion easy, but is that 3 billion the settled market cap when you try to bring in all the tokens from the other two projects? I mean, I'm not sure. Okay, so if we look here at this uh, press release from the 1st of July, you can see that it says that the ASI Alliance, okay, has announced the launch of the multi-coin merger. Okay, the token marks a significant step towards creating a fully decentralized AI ecosystem. Okay, and it drives the vision of a decentralized, transparent AI landscape, polling resources, oh, I think that should say pooling resources and expertise from its members to accelerate advancements in the ethical and transparent development of AI solutions. So that's what we want. We want AI to be decentralized. We want it to be ethical and we want it to be transparent. Okay. And then it says here, Singularity Net's uh, token merge into fetch trading remains uninterrupted. As the project rebrands to Artificial Super in Intelligence Alliance, across platforms, including CoinMarketCap and CoinGecko. The migration platform is now open on the Singularity DAO DAP. Now, don't forget that the Singularity DAO, that's actually the ecosystem for the Singularity Net token, okay? So given that the Singularity DAO is involved with this merger, you know, I think that this one in the future is one to watch because it has a very small market cap at the moment. So SDAO, you know, put it on your watch list because it could do great things in the future because it's connected to this huge merger, although it's not included in the market cap. Okay, so it says here that the um, platform, okay, AGIX and Ocean are starting to delist from exchanges. This will take time. Okay, the phase aims to onboard exchanges and data aggregators for a smooth transition. Okay, and then it says here, this is quite important, the phase two will focus on community onboarding and ASI deployment, prioritizing self-custody holders and deploying ASI tokens across multiple chains. The transition includes new migration contracts for AGIX and Ocean tokens, not yet confirmed to fetch. So tokens that are under AGIX and Ocean, they've not yet been converted to fetch. Okay, and for EVM-based fetch, all fetch mainnet tokens will automatically convert to ASI during fetch AI's mainnet upgrade. The migration contracts will be open for years, allowing ample time for all conversions. So it could take years for those conversions to allow the market cap of ASI to settle once and for all without being altered by tokens from Ocean and AGIX being actually combined into the ASI project, okay, or consumed into the ASI project. Detailed guides and tutorials are being provided to support a smooth transition. The timing of this phase is still underway, ensuring all necessary preparations are completed. Okay, so 
If we go on to Telegram, okay, there's more information here that's interesting about this merge, okay? So someone was asking about, um, about scams. You know, they're, they're talking about a lot of things here about scams. So you gotta be careful. There's a lot of uh, platforms that are opening saying that you can uh, go on their platform and you can exchange your tokens for ASI tokens. A lot, lot of scams out there, so be careful. Make sure you go on the Fetch AI uh, Telegram to find out you know, if you're doing the right thing with your tokens, okay? Now, there's something else here is that the ASI project doesn't actually have a white paper yet, okay? Uh, as it says here, someone asked about this on the Fetch AI um, platform, okay? And this was, this was today, okay? So this is uh, current news. There is not a white paper for ASI. And then in brackets they say, and the semantics of crypto project white paper is ridiculously loose anyway. Okay, so yeah, when you're reading these white papers, you gotta be careful, right? Just because they say this or say that doesn't mean it's true, okay? The semantics, okay, so the wording of white papers are ridiculously loose. In other words, you know, they don't really tell you something concrete about the projects and there's a lot of information that perhaps, you know, is hidden from the white paper. So be careful with white papers, guys. They don't tell you everything. Okay. ASI Allowance is a decentralized network of decentralized networks. <laughs> that sounds a bit tautological, doesn't it? And should and will not have a super crisp unifying white paper like, say, a typical blockchain infrastructure project. ASI Alliance is rather about a unified token and community provided common incentive and mind space for a broad decentralized initiative focused on creating decentralized AGI, okay, so for artificial general intelligence and then ASI, artificial superintelligence. And taking earlier steps in that direction, including commercial AI services and products, leveraging our networks. Now, this next uh, paragraph is quite interesting as well. So this is about white paper and the fact that they are trying to merge all their resources to make it decentralized so that they can make a better ethical and transparent AI for everybody, not just in a centralized organization. Okay, but they go on to say, okay, a bunch of cool collaborative decentralized AI projects pulling together code and devs from Singularity Net, Ocean and Fetch, and then listen, along with other projects like HyperCycle and NuNet, okay? So these are also included in the Singularity DAO ecosystem, yeah? And some I can't mention yet publicly, so watch this space, you know, come on to the Fetch AI um, Telegram guys, because it looks like they're gonna mention some new projects in the future in AI. And if they're connected to Singularity Net, Fetch AI, to Ocean, and the ASI token, you know that they're gonna be legit pro tokens because there's just so many scammy projects in AI, okay? And, you know, I did a video not long ago and I mentioned a lot of AI projects that I thought, you know, based on my research in deep dives were scams. For example, Based AI, Delizium, Sleepless, Enk AI, Chirplay, Octavia, Layer AI, Otacon and Algotech, okay? I identified all of those as scams or I couldn't actually confirm that they weren't scams. They look very scammy to me, okay? So, you know, you gotta be very careful. And you can see here that projects like HyperCycle and NuNet, you know, I've looked at these and I've, I thought, yeah, they, they don't look like scams, you know, their teams are very transparent, so, it's quite interesting that on the Fetch AI website, they're mentioning these projects, HyperCycle and NuNet, that they could be developing projects in collaboration with ASI. So HyperCycle's got a much higher market cap than NuNet, but NuNet's market cap, I think it's around, if I'm not wrong, it's about 30 million, you know. So NuNet could really, you know, this, this could do something like a 50 to 100x because 
it's obviously going to be involved with this big project in the future. Okay, but something that I also saw on the Telegram that I thought was quite interesting was a discussion about what the market cap for the ASI token should be and whether or not all the tokens from AGIX and Ocean were included. So I think you'll find this conversation quite interesting. So here, okay, this guy Crypto Cool says, has the merge completed yet? In the sense that the Fetch ASI market cap now includes Ocean and AGIX. Or are Ocean and AGIX yet to be joined with the Fetch ASI market cap? Okay, now this is a little bit, uh, doesn't really answer the question yet. Uh, so the moderator said tokens were minted into Fetch's supply in May. So it's been included since then. And then this guy says, so, so how is it that Ocean and AGIX still have a market cap on CoinGecko and their tokens are still listed on many markets, you know, like exchanges and, and, and DEXs? And um, the answer from the moderator is, it will take people years to burn their old tokens and convert to Fetch. Okay, they mean ASI, okay. And then this guy comes back and says, but I thought they would have already been automatically converted to fetch ASI tokens, especially if they were held on exchanges. Okay, now the reply is it's not automatic. Exchanges have to do the conversion process for their users. Okay, and then another little point here, there are a lot of different contracts and a lot of different chains and wallets, it will be a long process, hence no deadline. Okay, and then you know, the, the guy comes back and says, so that looks like there will be dilution of the ASI tokens as these Ocean and AGIX tokens get converted. Is that correct? And then the answer is dilution in what sense? No more new ones will be minted. They're already in the supply, just waiting to be sent to correct wallets. Okay. And then this guy says again, so regardless of what happens to existing Ocean and AGI, AGIX tokens, the market cap of ASI will not be affected? Question, yeah. The supply is fixed. Market cap will change with change in price because it's a factor of circulating supply and price change. Okay, so this is the interesting point here, a factor of circulating supply. So the supply of the ASI token is uh, much higher than what's circulating at the moment. Okay, so we know that obviously the market cap will change when the circulating supply changes. But, you know, the question that I think this guy is asking is, are all the Ocean and all the Singularity Net tokens included now in the market cap? It doesn't look like it, okay? Uh, they come back here, the team, and say, it's just worth mentioning that the market cap is not quite correct on CoinMarketCap and CoinGecko because it hasn't accounted for the tokens that have not been yet circulating prior to merge. Ocean and IGIX had some yet to be released supply, which is currently counted as circulating in ASI's supply. Now, I know that the Ocean token was about 50% diluted, yeah? Now, um, so, you know, that's unclear. It comes back from this guy. Can the ASI fetch market cap be increased by any tokens not counted from Ocean and AGIX? That's the point I was getting to, yeah? That still exist. If so, by what percentage increase? Thanks so much. So, looks like he's assuming that the market cap might be inflated because of more tokens coming into the ASI mix, okay? Like their market caps are being joined together. Okay, and you know, they come back and say, no, it will decrease rather than increase when it's corrected. Okay, so that suggests that if you're buying the ASI token now, okay, and you can see the ASI token here, okay? It's got a 3 billion market cap now, and it's on the maximum on market cap, yeah? 
it was actually 6.3 billion. Now, it seems like if you buy this token now, it's actually not likely to go up in market cap as more tokens come into the, or more of the um, tokens that belong to Ocean and AGIX, once they're actually completely converted and all the tokens are into the ASI uh, token, then it looks like this will have an effect on the market cap. And as you saw on the Telegram, they're saying that this is not going to increase the market cap. This is going to decrease the market cap. So to me, that sounds like it's got the same effect as dilution. OK, now you can see here that the market cap of the they're calling it the Artificial Super Intelligence Alliance. OK, but it's not. This is actually the fetch market cap. So I think what you've got to do to get the actual market cap is you've got to add together the market caps of, of Fetch and also the other two projects. So, you know, the Ocean Protocol is about 230 million and Singularity Net is about 430 million. So that's 600. That's about 600 and what's that? 660 million. Okay. So you're looking at possibly a market cap of 3 billion, 3.6 or 3.7 billion. But this is not the fully diluted market cap of the ASI token, okay? Because the ASI token is more than this fully diluted valuation here on Fetch. Now, the circulating supply of the ASI token uh, when it fully launches will be 1.8 billion from 2.6 billion. Okay, so do the math out of that. That's about 65%, okay? So 35% to come out. I think that'll be slow because obviously it's a new project now and that's why they've minted more tokens. That's their advantage, but it's gonna take a long time for those tokens to come out, okay? Had you been holding um, Singularity Net or Ocean Protocol, you should have cashed those tokens in by now and wait to see what settles with the Fetch AI ASI project. Now, given that we've got something like a 65% dilution, okay, yeah, you want to know what is the what is the dilution going to be in the future? Now, the admin have come back here and said, uh, you know, uh, yes, that's the circulating supply, that's the total supply, but they've said also a comprehensive tokenomics will be released. So it's not been released yet. And for those of you who are wondering whether or not the ASI token will be listed on Coinbase, I would say yes, of course it will, because all the other projects were. And um, I can't see how Coinbase won't be listing this project. But at the moment, they say that they can't confirm that, okay? So that's another point that maybe you want to take into consideration. Now, if you come onto the Super Intelligence Alliance website, you can see here that what it's got at the top is information about the merge, okay? So artificial intelligence must be open, decentralized, built for the benefit of all sentient beings. Okay, and then you can see here, okay, it tells you that it's a partnership between these projects, and then it gives you this token migration guide, okay? So you can come on this website and have a look at this. It's more or less just what I've told you already. Okay, so phase one, phase two, uh, to be decided. Now, um, there is some information available about that phase two already, okay? But it doesn't really tell us much more about the dilution, okay? So what is the Artificial Superintelligence Alliance? Okay, we know that already. It's the merging of these three projects into a decentralized AI, okay? And what it aims to do. What I find interesting is that, okay, it gives you information about those projects, but if you come down, you just look at the team that they've got. Okay, so they've got Ben Gertzel here. And, you know, this guy is a really top AI guy, crypto guy. Also this guy, okay, this, this was a CEO, chief scientist of Singularity Net. Okay, now he's CEO of Super Intelligence Alliance. Then we got here, Amayan Sheik, CEO of Fetch, chairman of the Artificial Superintelligence Alliance. 
Trent uh, McConaughey, founder, CTO of Ocean Protocol. Okay, and then we've got Bruce Pond here, founder, CEO of Ocean Protocol. Okay, so you can see that they've got a really strong team. I mean, just the, the four main guys here, these were all CEOs of top projects in their own right. Now, if you come down, that's pretty much all they've got on the website. They've got this documentation. There's no white paper there, though. Okay, so what can we say about this new emerging project? And what can we say about the future market cap and how many X's that it might do in the future? Well, I would just, again, go back to the, the fetch price token, okay? And, okay, maybe you will counter into this not just dilution of the new token, but also the fact that not all of Ocean and Singularity Net tokens are included in that market cap and that it might have an effect on it. So let's say you're looking for something like a 10X. So I don't think you need more than a 40 billion market cap on this now. And previously I was looking at Ocean and thinking, well, Ocean at 600 million, okay, so a, 2x would be a 1.2 billion, okay? And I thought, well, if this goes to 12 billion, I get a 20x, okay? And for AI projects, I'd be looking for about a 20x, and I think this can do it, and I think it's a really strong project. So if this can do a 20x, I think it's definitely worth buying, guys, okay? Because obviously, if you lose a bit to dilution, if you lose some to the tokenomic release, okay, because ASI has got more tokens to release, then I don't think this is a very high market cap when you think about it. I mean, look, it's only 3 billion. Let's say you lose 25% to token release, okay, and the merge. So let's go to CoinGecko main page. I mean, look at, say, Cardano. It's already 13 billion, okay? Now, people are expecting that to do something like an 8 to 10x, okay, because they think it can go back to all-time high of about $3. It's 37 cents at the moment. I'm not sure it can do that, and I think it will lose a lot of its market cap to other projects like NEO, like ICP, okay, and I think you might see some of the AI projects creeping into the top 10 in this bull run, so... Top 10 at the moment, Cardano's not even in there, okay? Top 10, you've got Dodge, you've got Tuncoin, XRP. I think XRP will come down the ranks, okay? And not, not many of the other ones, though, but probably Dogecoin, Cardano, Tron, these will fall out of those positions, okay? And you might see some of those top AI projects moving up the market cap rankings. Okay, guys, so... That's about all I've got for you in this video, okay? I will be adding some of the ASI token to my portfolio because I think that it's one of the strongest tokens that you were gonna see in AI in this bull run. And obviously AI is gonna be a really strong narrative. And when AI takes off, you're gonna see some projects just rocket to the moon, okay? Right guys, for me, it's time for a cup of tea. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Take care of yourselves. Until my next video. Cheers.